Thank you very much. Glad for being here. It's nice to be here, be this age, and be on the right side of the grass. We're the 76ers, and I don't mean the basketball team either. Uh, Mr. Red Malone, my favorite drummer. He told me he had seven children. He sent them all to Africa because he could support them for 80 cents a day. And Jamie uh, is our, uh, our uh, he's your wannabe. or seven years and even more and that um, the one thing that rubbed off on me the most about them is what happens outside the music is they go out and they talk with the people and they make friends with everyone they've known some of these people for years and years and the people keep on coming to dance and to relate to them as human beings more than musicians they relate to people as human beings and um, that to me is such an inspiration. They're such great models for me. They go out and schmooze with the audience. Don can carry on a solo while he's having a conversation about <laughs> professional basketball. Yeah. Isn't that right? Is it, you, you talk with him while he's playing, right? Uh, Red Malone goes out and does magic tricks to the audience. That's right. You know, if you want to see a good magician, um, Red has impressed me many times. 
He always knows the card that I'm thinking of. He always knows the card I'm thinking of. What are you thinking of? The, it's the Queen of Hearts. That's yeah. correct. That's correct. Yeah. That's it. Uh, it's always the Queen of Hearts. And um, Ralston, uh, I get to stand next to him every Thursday night. It must be about 340 Thursday nights in a row. And, and he has a continuous line of people that come up and need to kiss him. And I, I just, I can't figure it out. There's always some... Yeah, I know. I, I'm, I'm getting a little of a trickle down. I don't know. And so, I just want to tell you that my heart is really full with the love that these gentlemen have shared with me for this morning. Thank you. 
started playing with Don when, in the early 70s uh, and I was a classically trained trumpet player and you know did the orchestra thing and 
read the fly specs on the sheets. Yeah. And I used to carry my horn into the uh, New Riverside Szechuan Chinese restaurant <laughs> where he played before the Cooper house. Right. And I'd sit back there with my horn over my shoulder and everybody would get up and play and I wouldn't and I'd go home because I was afraid to do it. And he coached me to come up and I made a fool of myself for about half a year and then the rest of the year too. But Don, as far as I'm concerned, is the greatest local mentor of jazz players. And he's always, always been very, very gracious it doesn't matter who it is, he, he, he lets them come up and play, and if they sound terrible, he pats them on the back. He's a, he's a great encourager and a, and a great mentor. As far as Red is concerned, <laughs> I terrorized him and his big band for what, maybe 12 years? He finally got rid of me. <laughs> we go way back. And I'd like to say that Ralston, uh, last week, made me cry. Uh, the the uh, concert that they had was was so wonderful. They were, they sounded so good. And Ralston is so slick. I sat up there and actually cried. I couldn't believe it. And I usually, you know, I play with them on Thursday nights occasionally. And when you're with the band, it's a little different than hearing them out in the audience. And I'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, these are three great guys, great guys, and I appreciate them all very much. to be a part of this jazz family and community. I remember, I don't know, a long time ago, <laughs> Red invited me with his big band to sing at the Coconut Grove. I remember being so nervous singing Son of My Own Journey and the good thing was I couldn't see the audience because it was uh, a lot of people and it was really bright up there. 
Yeah. You're saying we'll make Dixieland. That's right. That's right. Dixieland, yeah, too. I'm so appreciative. And Ralston is still mentoring me. I mean, he has it all. He's got everything. He's got the vibe and the phrasing and the soul. And I always learn a lot every time I listen to him. I'm so very grateful. Don was always like, hey, Annie, so good to see you. And come on up. But I really felt like I was just valued and a part of things. And it's so, it's made all the difference, Don, to me. I mean, that's why I'm still sitting here with you. <laughs> Santa Cruz Jazz Society for honoring my dad for all 